Friday, November 6th, the moon will be moving out of Cancer around nine o'clock in the evening. It's going to start its journey trying to get into Leo, which we will enter into in the very wee hours of Saturday morning. So we do get the bulk of the day still under that cancer energy, the moon and cancer energy, having us focused on our home, on the family dynamics in it, on the new boundaries that we need to put in place in order to take care of ourselves first and put others second. That is not selfish, by the way. It is something that is absolutely necessary to keep ourselves one and whole before extending our energy to anyone else. So the energy is going to be still very focused on healing our heart space, on our emotions. Now, we have the bulk of the moon energy really leading the way here. But we also have the sun making an aspect with the true node, which suggests that we've learned a lot in the previous days of this week and that we are aligning our mental space and our heart space to adopt new ways of doing things to align with who it is that we're trying to be and who it is that we need to be as we move into the month of December. Again, December is a huge, huge shift for humanity. It's very exciting. I definitely have been talking about it. We'll probably continue talking about it, but we'll have to wait for another time to really jump into that topic. Mercury, who is still waking up, will be squaring Saturn. That's what I mentioned in the energy forecast for Sunday into Monday is that we're revisiting some of those topics and themes that arise at the later part of September that now we're going to have a chance to revisit and re-edit and review. So we're sorting things out. Information is being sorted out. We're seeing some obstacles and challenges, and now we're seeing how to overcome that. And especially in our communications and our personal relationships, we're seeing where it is that we've butt heads and where it is that we need to have those conversations to clean, clean the slate and clear the air. The sun will also be making an aspect to Saturn, and this is really going to show, again, where we need to transform. So those aha moments that we had in our mental state, now we're bringing it back down into the heart space. We're aligning our heart with our head so that we can operate from a sense of wholeness. And now we're getting a grip on what needs to be done. So with those events out of the way, the moon will be trining Neptune, which is going to encourage us to dream a bigger dream, to get creative on how it is that we're going to move forward. It will be making an aspect with the true node, really aligning our emotional selves to the path that we need to follow in order to make the changes necessary in our own selves and in our exterior realities. The moon will be making an aspect with Uranus, giving us that shock and awe, that wild card energy, energy to shift our perspective, to shift our emotions forward. This is going to feel like a huge release from some of the things that we've been nitpicking in our mental space, that we've been obsessing over in our heart space. Finally, we're able to see how it is that we can either bust through, move around, or totally jump right over some of the mental blocks, some of the emotional blocks that we've been harboring. And then things get semi-interesting because the moon in Cancer will be opposing all of the heavy hitting planets responsible for the events of this 2020 Great Awakening. So we're talking about Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn. You've heard me talk about how they've been responsible for this pandemic, for the destruction of all the great systems of government and healthcare and banking and celebrities, the whole nine yards. These heavy hitting planets are sitting in Capricorn, which is basically the boardroom of the Zodiac. We're uh, essentially, we are going in and saying, listen, I know what I need now in order to feel safe and secure in my finances and emotionally at home. And I finally found a sense of peace and harmony within myself and within my interpersonal relationships. But now I need to do some adjusting in my career, in my authority, in the roles and responsibilities that have been put on my shoulders in order to do a good job. Now I need to kind of tweak this. And if you'll remember the true nodes who are now in Gemini and Sagittarius, 
This has been the last two years of our life is trying to find the sweet spot and balance point in between Cancer and Capricorn energies. They sit across from one another in the zodiac wheel. Cancer is essentially the feminine energy, the mother energy. Capricorn is essentially the masculine energy, the father energy. And we've been working very hard and seeing the damage and destruction take place in our lives in order for us to find a sweet spot so that we can move on. So that emotional cancer moon now has a good mind space about what we need to do in our own lives, in our home, in our relationship, in in the nurturing role. And now we're knocking on the door to the boardroom and saying, okay, I am in total conflict. Something has to change here. I need to either give up my career. I need to give up some of the roles and responsibilities in my career. I need to shake up my money matters. I need to shake up my reputation. Something needs to give because I don't feel in alignment anymore. And that is probably going to be the biggest internal conflict that we will experience this week.